Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. And uh, some breaking news. Well, you know, I'm bringing it out as early as I can that way. But um, I know some of you guys have already seen the articles and everything. But Jason Witten is coming back to the Dallas Cowboys for what will be his 16th season. Yeah. Old man. He's going to be 37 years old by the time the season starts. And one thing I will say about Jason Witten, um, he's definitely a future Hall of Famer. He has been a safety blanket for Tony Romo and Dak Prescott, um, you know, in his later years with Dak, that is. But um, he's always been that guy for the Dallas Cowboys to always be the sure, reliable guy. Now, I know some of you guys are like, really, Witten coming back? What is he going to bring to the Dallas Cowboys? Well, look at it like this. Don't undervalue what Jason Witten brings. You know, everybody always wants that dynamic guy that's going to go all the way downfield. You know, we got guys to do that. We don't need everybody to be able to go downfield. What Jason Witten brings to this team as a tight end that we don't have, obviously, a guy that's reliable, a security blanket. Yes, Blake Jarwin was doing good and he was coming on and he still can. But now... Jason Witten's back. They can learn more from him. They can hone their skills better with these younger guys, get their confidence up because now that Jason Witten is there, um, these guys can learn from him firsthand right there as the player's coach. Um, it, it's going to help Doug Nussmeyer as the tight ends coach with them. And you look at it like this, it, it, it benefits all because again, right now it's one season. So we'll see how he feels. Jason um, Witten's reasoning, you know, you would assume that the Dallas Cowboys begged him to come back, but that wasn't the case. Jason Witten said himself, how did he put it? Um, it was burning bright inside of me and the passion to play again. I just had to come back. Hey, if that don't make you feel some type of way, then I don't know what will. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, I'm glad Jason Witten's coming back. They're going to pay him about $5 million, you know, chump change for the team. You know, it, it's not an issue. You know what I mean? You got you got a, hall, a future Hall of Famer coming back. What he brings to the table outside of his leadership with that reliability on the field, it gives Dak somebody to throw the ball to when he's in trouble. You look at when uh, all these plays that Dak got into, these just trouble he got into, he's running around the pocket trying to find somebody to throw the ball to. Jason Witten always seems to get open. Jason Witten ain't fast. I don't give a damn. I don't care about that. What you guys have to realize that it's not about speed with him. This guy is crafty. He's he's a grizzled veteran. He knows what to do. He gets open. And he, he still gets open even though he's slow. He's not going to get you 25 um, yards after the catch. It's not going to happen. But what he gives you is a sure guy that's going to give you six to eight yards. I'll tell you one thing. I'd rather have six, eight, to ten yards than, than um, having Dak throw the ball out of bounds or get sacked. So look at it like this. Like, just look at the positive in the situation. Like, I hear people talking negative about it already. Like, give, give, like, to me, I mean, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't give a damn what you think. I want Jason Witten back. I'm glad he's back. I'm glad that he's um, coming back to the team. But you got to understand, like, you've, these guys have a passion for this team. He's been with the team his whole career. Um, this, this is his squad. He sees what Dak is doing. He sees what these young guys are doing. And he wants to help them win a championship. By all means, damn it, I'm with that. I'm with it. I'm with it. Welcome back, Jason Witten. Get your five, get your five million dollars. Um, you know, his booth career in Monday Night Football didn't go the greatest. You know, um, he still got to do his homework on that. But, you know, he'll probably get back into the booth after he retires again. But right now, He's focused on trying to help the Cowboys win and go to the championship. This is what we need. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want him to help us get what we need to get so we can get to the Super Bowl. He saw what we did in the playoffs. He saw how close that we could have gotten. Um, just a little bit things on offense to work on. Now that we got Kellen Moore calling the plays. Oh, if you're not excited right now, I question your fandom. Because you got Kellen Moore out here. He's going to come out here. He's going to do some things. He's got to be salivating right now that he's got Jason Witten back because sky's the limits. Um, there's DeMarcus Ware even um, made a comment after and said, oh, that's what we doing? We coming back? 
Demarcus Ware might come back now. If Demarcus Ware come back, Lord Jesus, you know they, they gonna clown the Cowboys, but y'all can clown all you want to, cause you know if the boys come out and they want to play, Demarcus Ware still got it. He only a couple of years out. It ain't like he just he retired ten years ago. He still got it. And and no homo. If you seen um uh uh Demarcus Ware, how in shape he is, he still got it. So hey, by all means, he in better shape than me. So let's get it. Um, even, even, um, <laughs> Martellus Bennett, now ain't nobody paying attention to Martellus Bennett, but even he, uh, posted a comment. He was like, yo, Dallas Cowboys, let's bring the band back together. Y'all need a backup tight end? That's what Mar D um, uh, Martellus Bennett said. Nah, ain't nobody paying attention. There ain't nobody bringing back, uh, Martellus. But again, you know, Jason Witten coming back is inspiring other players, I mean, Greg Olson has a chance for the Panthers. Greg Olson can go ahead and take Jason Witten's spot in the booth. Now he can go ahead and retire and take that Monday night football spot um, because it's open right now. So, you know, it, it brings opportunities for other people. So I, I'm loving I'm loving him coming back. I think it's going to be good. This team is already in a position where they are grinding. They're already in a position to um look for the players are linking together if you've seen Dak prescott's tweet or his um instagram page where he basically said these are not my teammates these are my brothers and i will go to war for my brothers and the pouring in of support of the players his fellow players antoine woods commented my frat brother Kayvon frazier responded chitabe awuzie responded everybody came in there um um Cole Beasley called him dad. And then, and then Michael Gallup responds and says to Cole Beasley is like, yeah. Um, what do you call him? He's young dad uh, or young pops or whatever. And like, you know, these players love each other and they are tight. It's not like they're just teammates. These guys are going to war with each, for each other. And I can't do nothing but be excited about that. And then you bring Jason Witten back into the fold. And Jason Witten has that older older man. He's thirty. He'll be thirty seven by the time the season starts. But he's thirty six right now. So thirty six, and he's got that leadership. And these guys are gonna listen to him. And it just opens up so much for everybody else. You got Amari Cooper to throw the ball too deep. You got Michael Gallup. Um, your your weapons are about to be unstoppable. Cause what Br Witten brings is he brings attention. Because nobody wasn't paying attention to the tight ends when Jason Witten was gone. You got Jason Witten on the team. He is well respected by players all over the league. Understand that. It doesn't matter about him being fast. He don't need to be fast. Jason Witten is out here. He's gonna be balling. He's gonna get his little six, seven little yards. Uh, he's going to score touchdowns because he's good in the red zone, um, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, nobody, no other tight end in the NFL has more catches than he has than Tony Gonzalez, period. And that's a Hall of Famer as well. So um, look at it like that. So, And Jason Witten will be a Hall of Fame player once he finally retire, retires for good. And we already know that all he's doing is padding stats right now. So, again, welcome Jason Witten back to the Dallas Cowboys. I approve this message from E2 Blue. Now, for the rest of you fans, I hope you guys are excited. Because I know I am. <laughs> this is just it. But I'll holler at y'all later. It's your boy E2 Blue. Always keeping it real. Talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great Thursday, Friday Eve, whatever you want to call it. Holla at you.